Hey guys, so today on what the fuck is she doing with her life, we're going to be dyeing my hair red. I'm really, I'm over, I'm over the blonde. I hate to say it. I love it. I love being blonde. I feel like I am a blonde. I'm finally white blonde and it's taken so much time and so much work, but now I need a change because I feel like I'm just yellow and I don't want to be yellow. I don't want to be yellow and trying to keep my hair white and not yellow is like psychotic. <sighs> so stressful and my roots grow. Like I just bleached this maybe a week ago and every time I bleach my roots now they're doing yellow banding and it's just like I finally, I just don't want to do it anymore. And I've seen so many gorgeous redheads lately that I think I need a change. So here we go. So I've been doing a little bit of research and <sighs> watching videos and asking hairdresser friends and all that fun stuff. And basically they're like, are you sure you want to do this? And are you sure you want to do this at home? And I'm like, yeah, I'm insane. I've lost my mind. So I'm just going to do it myself. Fuck it. And this is me after a full day of work. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving. Who am I? I don't know. I don't know who I am, but I was like, you know what? Let's videotape this 2007 Britney Spears meltdown. I probably should have started by doing a conditioning treatment or with Olaplex, but I actually just did one yesterday and that's why my hair is so greasy. Um, I did a normal shower, you know, shampooed my hair with purple shampoo and then I went ahead and took a conditioning mask and did that in the shower and rinsed it out and then I did Olaplex and then I did a leave-in conditioner on top of that so this baby is pretty conditioned and greasy and nasty so I think it's a good time to do this so first I'm starting out with some protein filler so I'm gonna go dampen my hair apply this leave it for 20 minutes and blot it off so stay tuned well, i just made my husband try and help me to dampen my hair and that went horribly so i did it myself i'm wearing a shirt that i don't care if it gets stained because we're dealing with red so apparently it's really easy to use this if you have a spray bottle and I don't have an empty spray bottle, but I just ran out of um, priming spray, like setting spray. <laughs> so I'm taking my Hangover RX setting spray bottle and I filled it with the protein filler and I'm gonna spray that in my hair. So now my hair is completely saturated in this protein stuff. I'm just gonna put it up and let it sit for 20 minutes and come back and then we'll the fun part i went ahead and bought ion brand i mixed two different colors and i'm hoping to get the color that i want out of them because i couldn't find exactly the color i want and i might have to go through and darken them after because it looks like it's gonna be really light on my hair but i use 71r permanent cream hair color along with the 61R permanent cream hair color. I mix these with 10 volume developer and it is red. Red. So gonna put this on. Wish me luck. <laughs> All right, so this is what it's looking like right now. And I managed to get red dye everywhere like it's no joke like look at my whole neck ah it's gonna take forever to get out but look at this color it's been in for i think about like maybe 15 minutes so we're getting close to washing it out and i started dyeing my extensions to match but i ran out of dye about halfway through so i'm gonna have to finish those tomorrow or the next day whenever i can get into sally's next 
but I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out right now. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, yep. All right, guys, it's now the moment of truth. I just got out of the shower and let's see what it looks like. So it's definitely red. It's kind of like a pastel red. In case this happened, I went ahead and bought this guy. It is medium natural blonde, same, it's ion color brilliance, the permanent cream hair color, and it's in 7N. Well, this one's actually demi-permanent, I lied. I'm gonna go ahead and do that on my damp hair, 10 volume, the light brown color. Now I have the brown over top of the red and it looks a hot mess and I'm exhausted. It's like almost midnight, but I'm gonna rinse it out. I'm gonna dry it off, blow dry it, see how it looks. And then if I need to do anything else, it'll be tomorrow because I'm fucking done. I just washed out the brown and I put a little bit of Olaplex in my hair. Um, number three, having the dark undertone will really help to keep it from looking so like drained and I don't know, I guess like really light and faded looking. Um, the brown gives it some warmth because obviously I have very cool white hair. I'm gonna blow dry this really fast so we can see the finished product and then we'll go from there. So, all right, so I just went ahead and blow dried my hair and this is what it looks like. I've got kind of a chocolatey red going on right now and I think it's really pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. But I want brighter red, so we'll get there. I found that the best way to color your extensions is to lie them on top of saran wrap on the counter, which isn't the cutest thing ever, but hey, it works. And you really just wanna saturate all of the hair in dye, act like it's your real hair, making sure that you get the dye everywhere. You don't want big gaps of another color in there and you need to brush through roughly with your brush and even brush side to side and make sure that even the top gets covered because you don't want a big gap of blonde right up top peeking through your own hair. You also want to flip over the extension and do the same thing to the other side because the dye does not go all the way through and stay away from putting dye on the clips and the top of the hair on the back side. It really is pointless to be covering up like that sewing up top. Anyway, the process I'm doing now is the same process I did to my hair. I mixed the two red dyes together with 10 volume and I'm just brushing it through and then I left it on for about 30 minutes washed it out only with shampoo and then did the same thing with the brown i left the brown on for about 20 minutes washed it out conditioned it left them to air dry for about 24 hours and then brushed them out and styled them and that was it all right so this is my hair it's completely finished finally it took about eight tubes of hair dye <laughs> and hours and hours and hours. So basically, I'm pretty satisfied with how it turned out. My natural hair is a little bit more faded and brown. You can probably see here, like here is natural hair and here are extensions, but I plan on putting some more red into it um, probably this week. I just wanted to give my hair a bit of a rest after this crazy, like, <sighs> This crazy process that my poor hair has been through but I hope you guys like how it turned out I love it I think it looks so freaking good I trimmed it myself too which was kind of scary but I did it and it's done I really like I'm just so pleased with how everything came out and I'm happy that I will no longer be having to bleach my hair I plan on growing my roots out and doing kind of an ombre thing with my hair leaving the top a little bit darker just so that I can finally gain some length on my real hair and quit abusing it with bleach. 
So finally, after years of switching my hair around, I think this is hopefully, fingers crossed, gonna keep me on the right track of not abusing my hair as much. We'll see. Also just wanted to mention that the hair came out totally fine. Um, I didn't notice any breakage. I mean, I did give them a trim, but I really like, after all the dye and processing, they're fine. I didn't have a lot of hair coming out. I mean, other than what I cut off, but I think they stayed really nice. And I mean, they're very high quality, but really didn't affect them. So that's good news. Anyway, if you guys want to see how I typically style my extensions and how I styled them like this, all curly and whatnot, I have a video for that that I will link. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you like it better blonde or redhead, I don't really care. I'm gonna keep it red for now. It's gonna be really hard if I wanna switch back to blonde. So yeah. I want to know what your guys' thoughts are on the whole process and what you thought of the video and what you want to see me do next. So like, comment, and subscribe down below. Follow me on Instagram at Blaze McKenna. And thanks for watching. Bye.